Hello, my YouTube friend. Today we have an epic Funko Pop haul. I'm really excited for this collection. I bought it from a guy named Joseph. If you've seen in the last month, I've purchased a few other parts of his collection. So this is just another part of his collection. He moved to Long Island, so this was the last of his collection that he, uh, I think at first he was thinking he wasn't going to sell it, then he sold it. And he just realized the house he was moving in, he didn't, he actually had a lot of stuff in storage in Brooklyn, but he was getting rid of the storage unit, so he realized he just didn't have the room for the pops anymore. So that's why he was selling. And I think he was pretty happy with the money I gave him for his collection. I ended up buying from him like five or six times, so I think there's one other video that's coming up after this one. But for now, we're going to go through this collection. So I paid $258 for these pops. They're not old pops it came out around april march april around there but it's a collection i really really wanted that i only had a few pops from this collection so this is going to help fill in my collection and uh, i'm really excited for this all right so let's dig into these pops and let me show you what i got as you can probably tell just looking at this box what this collection consists of it's almost all the Avengers Infinity War pops. I'm so excited to get this collection. I only had a handful from the collection, so now I have almost the whole set. Yes! Okay. <laughs> nice. <laughs> all right, what's cool about this collection is I don't have most of these, so I'm really excited. Obviously, there's a couple that I have already that will go into my shop, but for the most part, this is all stuff for me. I'm really excited for that. So we have the Hot Topic exclusive Metallic Vision. Love that one. That one's awesome. Oh, I'm so excited to get this set. Uh, okay, number two, we have Ebony Maw. This is just the regular one. That's cool. So happy to have that. I don't have it, so now I do. Okay, next we have... Oh, I love this one. This one is awesome. Gotta take him out of the protector just so you can see a little better. So we have the Toys R Us exclusive Groot, where he's holding the Defender video game. I love that one. That one is so awesome. That was actually one of my top wants, so now I have it. Yes! Uh, oh, sweet. <laughs> oh, when these all came out, they sold out so fast because everyone was excited for Avengers Infinity War because it was such a fun movie. And so people were going everywhere. So here's the Walmart exclusive Thanos where he's like shooting the energy out of the club. Love it. So happy to have that. Okay. Next we have Thor. I don't have that one either. So that's awesome. Okay. Ah, yeah. Oh, this is exciting. <laughs> I feel so giddy with this collection. Okay, we have Captain America Walmart exclusive. We didn't have that one either, so... Yes! <laughs> okay, I'm just really excited for this collection. Okay, next we have Corvus Glaive from Avengers Infinity War. I didn't have that one either, so really happy to get that. I'm really happy to get all of these. Ah, the Iron Spider. Uh, I think I have this one. That might actually be one that I have already, so that one will be for sale. I think I have that one. Uh, I'm going to have to double check. So that might actually be one for sale. Uh, oh, next we have Iron Man. I think I have that one as well. So that one will be for sale. We have... Oh, we have Black Widow. Okay, that's cool. I don't have that one. So I'm really happy to pick that one up. Okay, let's see what we got next. Oh, we have Proxima Midnight. Oh, she looks really cool. Okay, I don't think I have that one. So that one will also be for sale. Okay, next we have... Oh, yes! All right. I love it. He said he was working really hard to get the whole set, so uh, I'm so excited to pick these up. He ended up getting a lot of exclusives. So we have the FYE Iron Man. I guess that's the unmasked Iron Man. So yeah, so he's the unmasked FYE exclusive Iron Man. That's so cool. All right, next we have, oh, sweet. Okay, we have the Call of City and Walgreens exclusive. Uh, I'm pretty sure I have this one already. So this one will probably be for sale. I just have to double check. Two or three duplicates so far. Oh, sweet. Okay, this is another one I really wanted. So we have the Box Lunch exclusive Unmasked Iron Spider. That's super cool. I love Spider-Man. My son's a huge Spider-Man fan, so that makes me love Spider-Man even more. Really, really happy to get that. Okay, let's dig into box number two. <laughs> this is super fun because these are all pops I really, really wanted. But I always say with the Marvel stuff and the Star Wars stuff, I kind of wait to get it until I can buy a collection so I can get a good price. And I did. And I got them all. I'm so excited for this. Now I have to do the same thing with... Uh, well, I guess Black Panther I was thinking, but I almost have all of them. I think I'm just missing two. And Oh, the Ant-Man and the Wasp. I don't have any of those yet. All right, that's what box number two looks like. You can tell there's some really cool stuff in here. 
<laughs> I'm really excited for this box. Yes. Stuff I missed out when it came out and I was like kind of bummed out. But now that I have it, I'm so excited. Okay. Let's dig into this box. Okay. <laughs> I was excited for the first box, but the second box is even greater. Uh, okay. We had the regular Thanos. I don't have that one yet. My son has it. His, his head popped off, so I have to fix him. So I'll probably just going to leave that one in the box because I think they're kind of fragile. Uh, oh, next we have the regular Captain America. I think I actually have that one. So that will be another one. So I have four of these will be for sale in my shop. Oh, that's a big one. That's the small one. Uh, okay, we have the regular Groot. I don't have that one, so that one's exciting. I love that one. Uh, okay, you guys ready? <laughs> I feel like this is magic. This is the one I'm so excited about. I can't believe he had it. He sold it. I actually... He was going to keep this collection. He was thinking about myself. I told him I would give him, I think, 60 or 70% of the pop price guide for this pop. Just because I knew it was one that was hard to get. And he said he actually paid a lot for it. So I gave him, I believe, $100 out of the 250 I spent just for the one pop. Which was actually close to what he paid. I think he only paid a little bit more than that. But I, uh, I couldn't believe he had it. And I was willing to pay up for this one just because I knew how hard it would be for me to get it. Or for me, they get it for a good price because this is this is the kind of pop that most people sell off before they decide to sell their collection. What usually happens is people start selling a few, they sell off the really expensive ones, and realize it's too much work to sell the five ten dollar ones. So I end up buying a lot more of the cheaper stuff and not the expensive stuff. So in this time, I lucked out. Thank you, Joseph. I'm so happy you get this one. Really excited. Oh, it's in a pops protector. I'm gonna take it out, but it's the Asia exclusive Thor. Ah, oh, so happy you get this one. Oh, so cool. <laughs> yes! Nice! Oh, so happy to get that. So I, I paid him like a hundred-ish for it, I think. Might have been a little bit more. Might have been like 110. I forget exactly how much I paid. But I knew I paid up a lot more for this one than I normally do. Normally I'm trying to pay 50% per pop. But this is the one I had to have. So when he said he had it, he didn't think he wanted to sell it. I said that's when I was willing to pay like 67% of the pop price guide price. And he said... Okay, let me think about it. And so, like, a couple days later, he's like, yeah, you know what? I'm going to just sell you all of them. And so he brought them in, and I bought it. I'm so excited. <laughs> yes. Woo. Huh. I think right now I just have to track down the three metallic pops from Australia. I think there's one or two newer released metallic pops. And then the... Not the all metallic, but the slightly metallic version that came with a t-shirt from Target. And then I think I have the whole set. Oh, so happy to have this one, though. Sweet. Okay, a couple more in here. Let's check them out. Okay, let's take this out. Oh, this is cool. Okay, we got the regular Hulkbuster. Gonna take it out of its protective box. Okay, this one is super awesome. I love this one. I have this one already, though, so I'll be putting this one in my shop. So that's, what, five pops now? A pretty healthy amount will go into my shop. And then the last one I'm super excited about, as you saw when I showed you the box, is the 10 inch Thanos. Oh my gosh, I really, really wanted this one. It sold out everywhere real quick. I just couldn't see it. A lot of people said that when they did find them, the boxes were destroyed. This one's in pretty good shape. It's oh, so cool. Now everyone I know who talks about says the head falls off really easily. So it, it kind of sucks. You can't really display them out of the box very well, but he looks awesome. I love this pop. This one is so cool. Oh, I love it. <laughs> yes. So this is my second 10 inch pop. So I haven't had a lot of luck getting them, but it's the one I wanted the most. Oh, so happy to have this one. Hug it. Yes. <laughs> All right. Okay. So out of this whole collection, definitely the Asia Thor exclusive. This one I was so excited to get, and the 10 inch Thanos, um, both of these are amazing. I'm so happy to have these, but really the whole collection I'm happy to have because I really want to put this collection together. So now it's near complete. I think I have all the commons. I have most of the US exclusives. I'm missing the three metallic ones from Australia, which the price has gone down to about 60 bucks a pop, which is great because when they first came out, they're like 200, then they fell to 150, then 120, then about 100. So definitely interest went down. I knew those ones would come down, so I wasn't rushing at them. But now I'm going to try to track them down. Maybe I'm going to aim for like 50 bucks a piece. If I can get them all for $50 a piece, I'll be happy. Uh, uh, I love it. Awesome. I want to thank Joseph again for selling me this collection and all the other parts of his collection he sold me. I'm so happy with this. 
thank you so much. I really appreciate it. I want to thank my patrons for supporting my channel. With their help, I'm able to do more mega Funko Pop hauls like this. If you want to help support my channel as well, I'll put a link to Patreon right there. If this is the first time watching my videos and you enjoy this big mega epic Funko Pop haul, why don't you click the over his face and subscribe? Why not? I want to make more videos just for you. And I'm going to put a couple other mega Funko Pop hauls right there. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.